Hi, good morning, good morning. Another wonderful day here, Friday um, on, uh, in, uh, well, it's kind of cloudy this morning. We had a big, uh, quick little rainstorm last night. It was wonderful. I love night rain, you know. Actually, I like all rain, but it was really nice. Wake up, fresh air, you know, everything seems clean and everything. So, anyway, well, um, I will uh, wait here for a second to see if someone comes on live uh, with me. And also, um, let's see what else I was gonna tell you. I hope everyone had a wonderful Easter. We certainly did. We were able to, um, uh, darn, I just forgot I didn't turn off the um, my notifications, so oh well. Hey, hi, Rick. Hi. Patty, gosh, I hope everything goes well this morning with you, and, uh, you know, you'll be in our thoughts for sure. Um, let's see, what else? Um, let's see, so I'm Jackie with um, Shabbyology, Covina, California. It's the southern part of California. We're just about eh, 20 miles east of Pasadena, so a lot of people, you know, may know that by the Rose Parade, but... Anyway, um, I come on every Friday at nine o'clock. I love to, we're here to help inspire home decor and gift uh, sharing, okay? So whether we work on something, you know, uh, um, I don't know if you can see it, but we started working on this clock yesterday. We are working on a craft this morning. I'm calling it um, a bird topiary. So um, anyway, let's get started, huh? All right, I'm just going to push you guys back just a little bit, and let's see if I can find, where are you? Man, I'm so glad I was able to figure out this <laughs> iPad thing. It helps me so much easier so I can see the comments and everything. Well, while I'm talking, I might as well be, be working a little bit, right? So let's... Um, so what we're going to do today, we'll start off with, there it is, okay. Let's see if I, if it, oh, no, I got to go down further, I think. I don't know. Maybe this is it. Oh, okay. Oh, now see, I thought I turned it, the volume off. I don't know why I never remembered to do that. All right, let me see here. Oh, here it is. Okay. Volume. Nope, other way down oh i know why the little sorry guys go yeah. the other way no oh, yeah, yeah. down oh i know why the little sorry guys the button is stuck where the bracket is there there it goes okay there now i can see comments okay so the first let me just finish cutting this well i'll show you i'll bring this down what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna do a take on the, um, uh, remember the um, little chicks that we did, oh, last month or month before, where we uh, used the drop cloth fabric and we painted them and put them in the little egg crates and stuff? Well, we're I'm kinda gonna do an offshoot of that. And I don't think we'll get to all of them today, but I'm just, because I made a boo-boo when I was doing my cutting, I uh, forgot to reverse the pattern. So I had two of exactly the same. I'm like, oh, okay, that's not gonna work. And I just wanna get this cut. And let's see, here it is, lightly. You just use a pencil, um, very lightly, then you can cut it. Okay, that should work. And I can trim it when I match it up, okay. So I found this lovely fabric uh, that I had at home and I decided I wanted to use that. So let me see if this will work. Oh yeah, finally I got it, okay. All right, so we'll work on this bigger one. So, all right, I'll show you all those. So what we're gonna do is I have these little pots. These are, um, I don't know, what are they? Three inch little round pots, but uh, I think that's what it is. I've already pre-cut it, the, cut this already. I've already, um, I've got my supplies here. We're going to, these are like, 
it took me longer literally to cut those that bird out than it will for me to do this okay so we're just going to use some of this foam i think oh yeah see i could just push it down in there i won't even have to glue it okay so what are we going to do with this of course we're going to Put some cute now you can certainly glue this if you like um i'm hoping that i can get to the other birds because i'm anxious to see what those are going to look like um let's see i think i'll do the this after i do the dowel okay so now let me so basically see again you just punch this in uh, you can glue it, of course, if you like. Now, this is just our um, chalk paint right here. I'm not going to seal it or anything like that. I'm just going to leave it like that. In fact, maybe I'll go ahead and cut one of these so that while I'm waiting for... Okay, now this one. And I have this guy. This size really worked well aha there it goes i'll use this as my pattern okay this is i love this foam stuff this is really um low density stuff which i love okay eh. okay that one i might have to glue Nope, this one. Okay. And we're going to get the other one. Put this little guy down here. And this guy should... <laughs> that might have been the first one I tried on. Okay. Okay, there. So now we have... Oh, forgot this guy. Got to put this guy back in. Okay, so we're going to have three. Hopefully we'll get to three. Okay? And like I said... That didn't take, what, two minutes? Not even that, right? So what I have is I have three bird patterns, okay, that I have cut out. And I've already cut this guy. And this is the back part. No, no. See, this is where I messed up. This is the going to be this, okay? All right. So now what I want to do real quickly is I want to, because what I forgot to do was reverse the pattern. So that's why I kind of messed up. But I really want to do this cute fat one. So I'm going to go with this, okay? And let's see. Yeah, we'll go like this. Now, if you go gently, normally when you do a pattern or a stencil, uh, not a stencil, but tracing, you would want to do it on the back side. Well, I want to pay attention to my, uh, the pattern on the fabric. Now, this is just regular old fabric, okay? Um, you can uh, cut this very, uh, anyway, I'll show you. So you just go really lightly with your pencil. I mean, just enough for you to see it, because um, especially these old eyes, I really got to be able to see it, okay? So because I think this flower is going to be pretty with that little, short little fat uh, bird. And I'm going to just trim this. So the, let's see. Um, can you guys believe it? It's the, the end of August, April already. Oh my gosh. Now save your scraps, because we're going to use that for something. And... These are just so cute. I even thought how cute this would be. Like, let's say you wanted to, oh, dress up. Um, you can even use old clothing. You know, say it's, uh, you know, an old, um, uh, some fabric that you have left over from making something, or say um, a shirt. You can use any kind of, okay, now see, I missed, let me see the pattern. I got to check the, I did it so lightly, I can't see my lines. Okay. 
and this guy, okay. And the most important part, and like I said, that's what I did, that's why I have an extra one of the other shape, is because I didn't reverse the pattern. I just cut out two going this way. Well, that's not gonna work, right? So now we have this guy. Now we're gonna do the other one and I'll reverse the pattern, okay, on the fabric. Now, yes, this looks weird, right? Well, what I do is I use a lot, a lot of times for patterns, I will use old cereal boxes, um, this particular paper uh, came from uh, um, a pack of, um, what do you call it, scrapbook paper. And we had used all that up. So, hi, Betty. Welcome. I hope you had a great Easter. So, we are, I want to at least get two of these done. So, let me just get this guy. That first one was the hardest one anyway, and that's why I figure this one will be the easiest. Um, now, you guys know I'm not an embellished type person. I'm not, I don't use glitter, I don't use bows. Um, I don't uh, use, um, you know, frilly things. I'm just a basic uh, person. Not that I don't like either, either of those, but just for something for me, Although this isn't for me, this is gonna be out on the floor or even, um, I was thinking it might be a fun class to do. So, okay, all right, done. So see, now I have two sides to this bird, okay? This guy, this guy, and this one. So I will wait and do that third one later so we can get going. Okay, this is very simple. If you've seen me do my, um, what I call my um, decorative spindle decorations, and I do the same, basically the same exact thing with paper, I'm doing this with the uh, fabric. And even though they don't line up exactly right now, we can, I can trim it like this one I just noticed. This tail is a little bit longer than this tail. Boom. Okay, so, and of course I've got my handy uh, fabric glue that I'm gonna use uh, today in my Ryobi glue gun. And so the reason why we're gonna save these fabrics and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them up a little bit into smaller pieces, just a little bit. Now you can certainly, I actually have some of the fiber fill um, you know, white fiber fill stuff. I pulled that out only because I didn't know if I would have enough scraps. So we'll see. Um, Cause these are going to be, I just, I just yesterday, I kind of did a trial run on the, the drop cloth, like I did those little chicks. And I thought, well, I could always stamp them with a stamp with, you know, paint or something. I thought, wait a minute, I've got this cute fabric at home. And so that's what I brought in to do these. Okay, just kind of cut this up a little bit so that we can use it for our stuffing, okay? What a great way to use up your scraps, okay? We'll see. If we have to use some more of the, um, or more of this, polyfill we'll see all right so now there's two things that we have to worry about at this point is we have dowels because of course that's how we're going to make the topiary right so not only do i have to leave the opening well i'll leave the same opening for the stuffing and i think this one might be okay Instead of using the bamboo, hmm, this might be too long. Yep, I think I might use bamboo stick. And that way I, it can make it, uh, yep, I'll use bamboo stick. Okay, 
So let's get going, huh? This is such a quick, easy project. Yep, okay, get another stick in here. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna go right here. And again, I'm not worried if it frays. I, you know, I love that fraying look. If you wanted to make these, can you see? Yeah. If you guys wanted to sew these, of course you could. Um, I, maybe I'll someday have my sewing machine. Uh, I mean, it's here. I just don't use it. Okay. Oh, I see a spot that might need a little bit extra right there. Now, I suppose you could, I think for this purpose, you could just use a regular hot glue gun too, okay? Now, see, it doesn't quite match up. We can trim it, all right? Okay, so, yeah, that should be a big enough opening. Okay, so let me trim it. See on this side right here, it just needs to be trimmed. Okay. Oh, and I love it. It's already kind of, um, what do you call it? Ruffling or, okay, right here. Okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and do this one since we've got, um, and the, and look at, this is the one I wanted on the back side <laughs> of this one. See, I wanted this one for sure, and then I wanted this on the back side. Well, because I'm a dingbat, I didn't flip the pattern over, so I had to hurry before I went on air and did this one. But I still think it's cute. So since we've got the glue already going, we'll go ahead and glue this guy. Okay. Okay, wait. Let's start over here. Okay. Let's see here. Oh. Push this down. Always remember the, this, uh, this. You can always use one of these as well. Okay. This is actually in the cosmetic section. And it dries really fast. That's what I like about this fabric glue as well. It dries pretty fast. Okay. Oh boy, I really got to trim this guy. Okay, so let's trim this guy. And it's always, for me, it's a lot easier to trim it once it's glued together than to have them flimsy fabric and not, uh, you still can't get it just right. Now, you can uh, dress this up a little bit with, um, uh, you could take, just like if you were doing paper, you could take some ink or even some paint or stain like we did with those chicks and kind of go along the edges, uh, especially, okay. Oops, this isn't a very good trim. There. Yeah, always much easier to trim it when it's glued because it makes it stiffer. Okay, so now, Watch how fast this is going to be. I can't even believe we're only doing 20 minutes. You know what? Maybe I'll go ahead, if you guys don't mind, maybe I'll go ahead and do this other one. That way we can get all three done at the same time, huh? Let me get the fabric out because that's not... Look at this beautiful fabric. Isn't this pretty? Oh, I love this. I don't even remember what I bought this for, but too bad I, I love it. I'm glad I have it. Actually, I think I bought this to do outside pillows. 
on my uh, backyard. Okay. Oh, here's the edge. Okay, here's the edge, okay. All right, so let me just cut. I'm not gonna need much. <gasps> oh, look at that one. Oh, I love this one. Let me see. Yeah, I can go with this guy. And then on the back side, maybe I'll do this one, huh? Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. So, I'm gonna cut this guy, or let's see, trim the tail, yeah. Okay, first of all, well, I'm gonna make it harder for myself. Why don't I just trim this? So I don't have to rustle with this big, huge piece of fabric and dump everything over, right? I'm gonna go ahead and cut this a little bit bigger than of course I need because who knows, I might be making some more. Actually, I'm kind of thinking this would be a cute, fun class. And if they wanted, they could bring their own fabrics. Hmm. And I'm doing three, because remember in decorating, you do threes, fives, you know, odd numbers. Oh, I'll fold this later. Okay. All right, where's that cute piece? Here it is, okay. Where, oh, here. All right. Yeah, let me come up like this on here. Okay, I'm so sorry. Let's see. Thank you guys for staying with me. Uh, like I said, I hope you guys had a great Easter. We certainly did. Fortunately, our son was sick that day, and it really saddened all of us because he couldn't come. But my daughter-in-law, the grandbaby, granddaughter, and her parents came. So my mother or daughter-in-law's parents came. Okay, so this is where you got to remember. This is going to, and then I'll flip it and do this pattern. Let's see. Yeah, up like that with the tail. How about that? That'll look good, right? Okay. Again, okay. even though I'm doing it with pencil, and it's hard to erase pencil on fabric. Now, I do know from my old sewing days that they have a markers that the, it, the um, it ink disappears. But um, I haven't sewn in so long, that thing is dried up. Okay, so let me cut this guy. And I'll come in here and cut this guy. The, now let's see, next week, which is the last week of April, uh, is probably going to be the last week we do the, uh, like, a, well, look, what I'm trying to say is I'm going to try to start alternating between a craft item or home decor type item versus um, painting uh, like a piece of fabric or something like that, or <laughs> not a piece of fabric, um, a, uh, oh yeah, there it is, um, a piece of furniture. So, um, Okay, this is the tail. Yeah, this is part of the back. Okay. These, I think, are so cute. Now, I left, well, I didn't leave the pots terracotta. I painted them a cream color, a little bit lighter than the background of this fabric, because I painted those yesterday, and I didn't have this fabric. But I think it would still uh, match okay. And... I could see a lot of possibilities where you could, you could even, if you wanted to, take some of this fabric and put on the, okay, sometimes I can't talk and cut at the same time. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of things I can't do at the same time. But um, you could probably decoupage some fabric on the pot if you wanted, cut out maybe one of those 
a match a corresponding flower you know this little flower and put on there maybe i might even do that that's a great idea um you could use this fabric and make a um you know just cut a long strand and use it as ribbon or something around it oh yeah that's gonna look cute okay and where's the oh there it is okay see it doesn't take long the big one okay wait a minute i can't see this line um what did i do with it oh this way uh, boom, boom. ah right there now okay just come in here okay um yeah, I can see a lot of cute things with this. Well, shoot, I still can't. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I always forget that, uh, you know, you guys want to see too. I also want to remind you guys, if you are any bit interested, I also have a... Okay. Wait a minute. Why am I... Oh, this is the bottom. Okay. Okay. I'm thinking, why is it going? Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Um, I may have to, I'll match it up to the other one and trim it. Um, I'm on a, I also have a YouTube channel, so I would certainly appreciate it if you guys could go over and subscribe to it, if you wish. Um, I finally, le finally learned how to do, <laughs> switch my videos off of Facebook onto YouTube, and it makes me mad because once I figured it out, it was so easy, I was mad at myself because I hadn't figured it out before. And, um, okay, let me see if I can, yeah, you paint the, you put the line on so faintly you can't even see it, but <laughs> I almost can. Okay. Okay. And let's see. Oh, Patty, you could do this. You don't need a class, but it would be fun, right? Okay, so now let me see if I can <laughs> trim them so that they match because I know one of them I kind of messed up on. I couldn't quite see the... Oh, not so bad. Ha-ha, there you go. All right, so now let me glue this one while this is going. Come on. I'm trying to do more things that aren't so, that are different than some others. Um, I'm sure this is not the first time someone's thought of this, but um, I always like to put my own spin on, as they say, on things. Or I should say I try to. <laughs> because uh, I may not have the right amount of spin, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, this will work. Oh, I love it with that little flower. It almost looks like a um, hydrangea. No. What do you call it? Yeah, hydrangea. Okay. All right. Oh, I don't have to trim as much as I thought. So I wasn't off base too far. Okay, trim this guy, because obviously it's a lot easier to trim it before you stuff it. Okay. A little bit over here. A little bit into the glue. <laughs> this I'm going to have to freehand, I think, right here. There. Okay. All right. So now here comes... Oh, got to trim some of this. Well, we'll see. All right. Cool. So now we've got them. All three of them. 
and I like on this side I'll have these three and then on this side it'll be this oh yeah cute 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 okay so now and I've decided that we're going to use the um, oh what do you call these the bamboo sticks and these are already pre-cut from a previous um, project so because I don't have anything I can cut those other dowels with but I think that's okay and I like the idea actually this short one may be too short eh, we'll see we'll see we'll just cut it like right here okay trim it a little bit okay three different heights this one might be a little bit too short so we can always trim this other piece okay so now let's get going huh oh this needs to be trimmed a little bit more okay and I don't want it pointing. All right, so now here's the fun part. So we're just gonna stuff these. I know, okay, yeah, this is gonna work better than the fabric scraps. And I think I might be able to get into that tail, let's see. I tried to leave as much space Yeah, I can't quite get in there. Shoot, I should have. Why do I, I? I swear, I can't think of anything. Okay, but it's enough in there. It's gonna stay, you know, um, stiff. So let's see. And of course, you can make these. Now I got these patterns. Literally, I just got these off the computer this morning. Well, one of them I had, but um, I just printed out on the sheet, uh, on the printer, the pat the uh, patterns. And then, like I say, I use any kind of backings. I've even used cereal boxes for my uh, my uh, cardstock, so to speak, to make the uh, patterns. Okay, I think. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. A little bit of glue here. Yep, okay, so now I think I'll make this the high one. So I'm gonna put this one here. Now this is where, because this is kind of small, you kind of have to be careful. It looks like I may have to, oh no, it's just a little wrinkle. Okay, all right, here we go. Put this protective gear on. All right, put this stick in here so I don't forget. Okay, kind of, let me see. Yeah, about right there, okay. So put the glue in, come on. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on. There it goes, okay. Glue, glue, lots of glue by the stick. Uh, it's kind of hard to do with two. You got to hold this fabric back and do this at the same time. So let's see if I can stick this in here. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, see, it's coming out. Darn it. Okay. Ow, ow. Okay, this is why I'm the person who likes to experiment so that we learn all the bad things that can go wrong. Okay. Ouch. Okay, let me see here. My most, I really want to concentrate on that, the dowel first, or the bamboo stick. Let that get in there. Pinch this, put another thing there. 
Okay. Oops. And I know it looks like a mess, but it will, we can fix all that. Once it dries, we can pull it off and trim it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's, that is because it's so small. You can, you know, the glue stick is gone. The bigger, this was, was just crazy. Okay. Okay. This is where you want to really let it get good. Okay. Because when we stick it in there. Okay. All right. So let, what time we got? Ah, oh, we got plenty of time. Okay. So now... Oh boy, this is even a smaller one. Oh, the top's open. Let me fix this. Hmm. It's really open. Okay, okay, now fiber fill again, and okay, let's put this in here, let's see if I can get it up in this tail, come on, nope. Make sure I don't punch through or darn it. Okay, I know what I'll do next time is I will stuff that before I glue the rest of the body. Darn it. But look at it, it's still going to stay up. And the glue kind of makes it stiff anyway, so that's, that's a good thing too. All right, so let's get some more of this. Push this up by the head. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I know if I make another set of these, I will definitely do differently on that tail. Yep, can't. Let me try this guy. Come on, get in there. Nope. Okay. All right. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to put as much stuffy like I did that other one. That's how come it was kind of seeping out the bottom. Okay. Okay. Stick. Uh, I think this will be, uh, yeah. This is going to be the little stick, okay? The little, the, the short one. And I'll have it go like this. Hmm. No, I'll just do it like this. Okay. All right, let's get this thing going again. See if I can get this going this time. That's what I'm, I'm gonna do. Leave this. Okay. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, but I think you guys can get the idea. Okay. So you really wanna push where that's, your little dowel is, or in this case, the bamboo stick. Um, ow, ow. Yeah. Okay, and yeah, there's a little bit of seeping out, but like I said, we can, that's not a problem. Okay, because that's, oops, that's the part you really want to, woohoo, make sure that that stick is in there. And this might need another little, okay, so now we've got the little one, okay, cute, cute, now let's do the short, fat one. I'm partial to short, fat things. 
Okay. All right. Now. Okay. Okay. Oh, this guy. Heads open. Probably didn't get it glued down fast enough. Okay, let's see. Yep, okay. Okay, all right. Some stuffing. Now this guy, I bet I can get up in to that little tail too. Just a little bit. He doesn't have a real big uh, tail. But I'm poking in there. You got to be gentle when you're doing this because you don't want to go through the fabric. Um, because then you'll have a hole and lots of things. You could then it would show the filling through or all that kind of thing. Okay, let me get this. Okay, some more for. To go up in here and this tail is not quite as narrow so that should be able to get so oh, look at it. it's not even glued properly darn it okay I'm going to glue it yeah probably I didn't get it down fast enough for it to catch for it to glue See how easy these are? I mean, how cute, cute, cute. Now, of course, like I said, you could sew these. There's a zillion things you could do. You can make these out of paper, like I do with my um, my um, candlestick uh, decor. I just thought the fabric, and I wanted something printed. And when I thought of this fabric, I thought, perfect. Okay, a little bit more. Again, I thank you guys for taking the time out of your busy schedules to visit me today. Um, okay. A little bit more. Oh yeah, this is perfect. And I'll make this guy the medium height one. Stick that up in there. Okay. Come on. So you kind of want to concentrate, like I say, where the, ooh, <laughs> don't let it stick to the paper, your work surface. Okay. All right. So let's let this dry. We'll trim it. So now this is, so let's go up to number one that we started with. Trim all this ugliness off of here. Okay. This is just glue that seeped out that I'm trimming. And like I say, because it dries hard, it's a lot easier to trim, of course. And this guy, a little bit right here. And yes, it's up on the fabric a little bit, but you can also pull that off if you had nails, which I do not, which I'll worry about that later, okay? This little piece, though, I want to get off. This was a big clump. This was the first one, remember? I didn't do it so nice and neat like I did the other two. 
because you know what let's do this guy this guy has less problems okay yep okay all right so now this is the fabric okay now this was going to be my short guy so i'm going to there's a little bit different on some of these pots yeah this guy Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in. Can you see? Just stick it in, okay? And then this is where, now, normally I wouldn't use my fabric stick for doing this, but I'm going to, now again, here's another thing. If you didn't want to keep this, Remember my motto for this year is that you can rearrange thing or use the same type of thing and just keep uh, changing it out. So for instance, just like this, if I didn't want to glue, like you noticed I didn't glue the foam down, because what if I want to change it? What if I want to change, what if I don't want to glue this down and just let it sit on there this is that reindeer moss that I used um, last week on the candlesticks. So see, I don't necessarily have to glue this down. Um, it could be there, and then I could then just take, whoop, get this guy, big guy out. Okay, so look. So... Again, I don't have to glue the foam in. I don't have to glue the moss in. I could just place it in there. And then if I wanted to make something else, like let's just pretend, oh, let's say next year I wanted to put a bunny in here instead of the bird. I can do the bunny. Um, the, um, you know, so I don't have to keep it. So not so bad, right? not too bad again if you didn't want to keep it or if you wanted to keep it like this year round you could glue everything down you could even take a little piece of the fabric um oh something that's uh like maybe one of these bur uh, flowers you could even decoupage the pot if you wanted to with the fabric you could put some um twine around here you could put some ribbon you could do all kinds of things with this right um uh okay oh patricia thank you for watching okay so this is the short guy and then this was going to be the tall guy okay and then this was going to be the medium guy yeah i gotta trim this guy up too. Um, and like I said, it literally took me longer to cut this, these pat, these, uh, this fabric out than it did for me to do the whole project practically. So see, and you can manipulate them a little bit if you wanted. But what's nice about this is I like two-sided things as well. Because if you're working on a, um, let's just say you're going to put this on the centerpiece on your table, right? Actually, if I was going to do it, I would do it this way and then maybe this way. Uh, but you can change whatever pattern you wanted. And um, can you guys see okay? Something's going on with my iPad. But um, anyway... Um, so see, you can have all three of them. Look at how cute they are. And you can, um, but I like two-sided things. Because let's say if I'm having a guest, I want people on this side of the table and on that side of the table to see the, um, you know, the beauty of your, the centerpiece. So that's why I like double-sided things. So what do you guys think, huh? cute, easy. Uh, you could do it. I mean, I did this in, you know, just a few minutes and, um, uh, that's it. 
<laughs> all right, guys. Well, I hope you like it. Um, I can't hold them all up, but see? Um, so they are, oy, see, look how cute they are, right? I think they're cute. So, um, anyway, that's it. Well, I hope you guys have a nice weekend. Uh, it's going to be beautiful weather here. I hope across the country, wherever you guys are, um, that, uh, everything, you know, everybody stays safe and I'll see you next Friday at nine o'clock. Thanks for watching. Bye.